So the challenge today is whether or not I can hike uh, 10 miles or so up in some really rugged mountains with a mostly loaded pack. Can I do that with my barefoot moccasins? That is the question for today. Well, I'm finally headed out on my hike. It took me a ridiculous amount of time to get ready this morning. Uh, but it's uh, 10.40 <laughs> and I parked close to the trailhead so that I could get an early start. Oh well, I'm well rested, well fed, and excited to go see this uh, lake. I was planning on backpacking, staying the night, but I decided not to last minute when I saw how heavy my pack was. I'm still trying out my moccasins um, because my hiking shoes make my ankles hurt. Well, any shoes make my ankle hurt. So I just wasn't confident that I could uh, carry that much weight because the weight really impacts how much you feel the rocks. So I've got my hiking shoes with me. Kind of a training hike. We'll see, um, we'll see how my feet do with this much weight. It's getting a little warm, even up here in the mountains. So I just took my shirt off and dunked it in the creek. And now I feel great. Well, I have two more miles to go. I'm four in, I think. Um, oh, this lake is so cute. This is the first lake and it's so pretty. This is Alpine Lake. And I'm headed to Sawtooth Lake. Lots of switchbacks. Oh man, that feels good. I thought I might swim in the lake, but <laughs> it's pretty cold. Feels great on my feet though. So now I'll probably hang out here, have lots of food, um, spend as long as I can getting rested for the journey back. So the moccasins have been a uh, partial success. I made it all the way up with a pretty heavy pack 
How many miles? Let's see. Uh, well, my watch says five miles um, with a pretty heavy pack. I will consider it a mostly success if I can make it all the way back in my moccasins and a complete total success if I can walk tomorrow. <laughs> This is my last hike. I couldn't walk the next day. <laughs> so we'll see how sore my feet are. But so far, a really good uh, success. Well, now it's time to relax by the lake and uh, have some lunch. I'm sure the lake goes around this bend for quite a ways but I don't know if I'll make it over there. <laughs> Seems like a shame to get this far and not see the whole lake, but uh, we'll see how I feel after some lunch. All right, so I just couldn't come this far and not know what's around the bend here. I can't go too far because I still have five miles to go back, but uh, let's see. All right, let's see how big this lake is. <coughs> Ooh, it's all the way over there. My feet are not really appreciating this trail. <laughs> Little rocks are okay. Really big rocks are okay. But medium-sized rocks, meh. Not my favorite thing to walk on. And I have to come back through this. <laughs> so. All right, camera's going off so that I don't uh, kill myself here. <laughs> All right, made it through the granite field. That was not too bad. Oh, grass, I feel so good. <laughs> oh, relief. Well, I've relaxed here for a while. It's a uh, quarter to four. And I was thinking I would probably be a lot faster on the downhill, but actually that might not be true because I'm um, really being careful of where I'm stepping. Downhill is always a lot more painful in, in uh, barefoot shoes. I think with gravity and maybe your feet are tired. So we'll see. Will these little babies make it back five more miles? I don't know. So we'll see if I uh, can make it back in my moccasins or if I have to put my hiking boots on. <laughs> but boy, what a payoff. This is so beautiful. And as much as I would love to stay here tonight, um, the thought of sleeping in my cushy bed after such a long day of hiking sounds pretty good too. So uh, I thought I might really regret not bringing all my camping stuff. I thought I might really want to stay. Um, but I'm good to head home. The bed's gonna feel good tonight. I realized I haven't really said why I'm hiking in moccasins. And a lot of you are probably thinking, this is the most idiotic thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Why would she possibly be doing this? Well, I've had a problem with my ankle for the last couple years. Um, and it turns out I have like 
extra bones in my feet or something. And that is messing up a ligament. Anyway, I've been to physical therapy. I've probably purchased like 50 shoes, trying to just get anything that uh, would help my ankle. Um, and I found that um, the less shoe that I had on, the better I felt. So if I was wearing flip-flops, my ankle would hurt less than if I had the special orthotic inserts that were supposed to be exactly what I needed. So I, um, I found some moccasin templates on Etsy and I made these moccasins and I thought, well, I'll try this out. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, my feet are insanely big. <laughs> They're like size 12 or like 43 a European. <laughs> I just have a really hard time finding shoes that fit. So with the moccasins, I could make shoes that fit my feet exactly. Um, and then I started seeing more about like the barefoot movement and reading some of the research about uh, walking as close to barefoot as you can and how it develops your feet muscles and your ankle muscles. And, um, you know, the foot is really designed to, to walk like that. And so that's why I'm doing it. I'm trying to strengthen my feet, trying to toughen them up a bit. Um, and you know what? My ankle's feeling great today. It hasn't hurt at all. And typically, I wouldn't have been able to do this hike at all. So, I'm really happy with my moccasins, and I just hope I can keep um, strengthening up my feet. Hope I don't break a toe on a rock. <laughs> it is a little dangerous. Um, but that's why I'm doing it. Uh, and so far, it's been a great experience. Minus the sore feet, but I mean, I haven't had any ankle pain for the first time in two or three years. And that's like a total game changer for me. I'm going so slow, but I'm doing all right. I still have quite a ways to go though, probably another uh, three miles or so. So what I like about hiking in the moccasins is my foot can kind of uh, curve over and grab things with my toes in a way that I can't do with my hiking boots. So it's actually a much more stable feeling. I just have to kind of plan where to put my feet. So definitely can't be distracted. <laughs> I have a couple times then promptly stubbed my toe. And the other thing is when I'm stepping down off a big ledge like this, I find that my ankle can really flex in a way that it couldn't with my boots. And that would kind of make my knee hurt. So, I don't know, this is kind of solving a lot of problems. Oh, I've made it down mostly to the forest floor and it's so soft and gentle and spongy. Oh, it feels so good. Well, I've made it mostly to the forest floor. <laughs> Still some rocks. But boy, it sure beats the rocky stuff I just came off of. These shoes are great for that. You don't see tightrope walkers uh, in uh, hiking boots. <laughs> it's so nice when your feet can just grab the log. Oh, I like this path. 
Oh, my feet are much happier with a nice soft sandy path. Well, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it or not. But now that I'm maybe out of some of the rockiest parts, I think I'm going to be all right. My feet are sore. I don't think I'm going to achieve the uh, ultimate success of uh, not being sore tomorrow. But I do think I'll make it back to the van in my moccasins. We'll see. I still have a couple miles left. So it's not a celebrate too soon. But oh, this feels so much better. <laughs> oh, the ground is so soft. <laughs> You know when the ground sounds hollow? Isn't that cool? Well now, I know what that ground feels like on my feet. Well guys, I have maybe a mile and a half left. My feet are hurting. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm so close though. <sighs> I gotta keep strong, keep my mind strong. 20 more minutes, I think. I hope, I really hope. I should probably just put my shoes on, <laughs> but I'm too stubborn and I wanna see if I can make it all the way back to the van. And then I'll know that I can really do it. Okay. I should go. I'm almost there. Whew. Okay. I'm like hobbling at this point. <laughs> and I'm going so slow. Tomorrow I'm totally wearing my crushy flip flops. If I even stand up at all tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, but I've got a good campsite and I cannot move tomorrow if I don't want to. So I probably should have done some more like four and five mile hikes before I attempted this one. Or maybe I should have made a more reasonable goal like just up in my moccasins. This is probably, well, it is, it's too much. My feet are not ready for this. It'll be cool when they are though. Yeah, it'll be really cool when they're like really strong and don't get sore. That'll be cool. I think it's cool like developing the muscles of your feet. You know, your feet have more like bones and muscles than almost anywhere else in your body. And like, they're completely undeveloped from our shoes. And I don't think I'm injuring anything. I'm just gonna be awfully sore. So, I will persevere. So I'm pretty close to being done, but oh man, I can't pass up this. I'm gonna soak my feet. Good. <laughs> okay. All right. That was probably good. Time consuming, but probably a healthy thing for my feet.
don't know if they feel better or not. Well, that felt good. I don't know that they feel better. I think the only way they're gonna feel better is for me to stop. <laughs> okay, gotta keep going. Okay. I don't think I can go any farther. <laughs> well, I can, but I'm just going so slow. It's kind of beating the rest of my body up because I'm going so slow. So, with the last, I don't know, half mile, mile, I only have a little bit of the trail left. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Um, but then I have like another probably half mile to the van. Oh, I just can't do it anymore. We'll see what my ankle says, but my feet, I do know what my feet are going to say. <laughs> They're going to say, thank you, rubber soles. Oh. It'll be an interesting experience after, what, nine miles? Almost 10 is what my watch says. My watch says about 9.8 miles. Oh, I was so close. But boy, just every step is just so painful. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> Okay, where am I going to put these now? They're so dirty. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like I'm walking on air. Now I can walk again. Oh, I was going so slow. It was crazy. Just like, uh, uh. easy does it. Don't step on any rocks. <sighs> oh man, what a relief. What's wrong with shoes? How bad does my ankle hurt in these? I don't know. No, I'm still gonna keep, keep training my feet. Oh man. Feels so much better. We'll see how my ankle does on this last stretch. If it, what it normally does is it pings me as a ligament goes over a bone or something. Um, so it'll be fine until it hits and then I'm limping. Um, so let's see if it'll stay good to me. Oh, feels so good to walk fast. <laughs> Well, I was so close to making it, but boy, that last like 10 minutes probably would have taken me 30. Um, so I'm glad I put my shoes on. <laughs> oh, such a relief. So now another half mile or so to the van. Well, I'm getting close to the van. So did I succeed? I mean, I walked eight miles up a huge mountain. I think like 1,500, 1500 feet elevation, but I couldn't do it all in moccasins. And I'm really glad I had my shoes with me. Here's the van. Home sweet home. I don't have a very good campsite. The parking for it. Is just on the side of the road. And the actual campsite is down there. Very lovely. It was the only one left. And uh, it actually worked out because it was the closest one to the trailhead. Anyway, thanks for coming along with my uh, experimental hike. And um, if you're considering barefoot shoes, go easy. Start in the house. Um, I wouldn't recommend a 10-mile hike 
with a big pack on. <laughs> Not recommended. <laughs> Later. So despite how sore my feet were the other day, it's been three days and I'm back at it. I have to say there is something I really love about hiking and feeling the ground underneath me and feeling the roots and balancing. And although I was so slow coming down the other day, I found going uphill, I can go so much faster because I don't have the extra weight on my feet. So I'm back at it. <laughs> I didn't want to give it such a bad review. Um, I'm going to keep trying it. I still think it's cool. So, there you go.